don't die, Smelly. Oh, you're always so negative about things, Naira. Because you... The essence of survival? What are you talking about? Want to find out? Just close your eyes. What do you perceive? Oh, something stinks. Exactly. The smell. Impulses going straight from the senses to the limbic system, triggering an emotional response. Memories. The well-being of the mind. But, uh, well, that smells like... Well, that smells like shit. What did you expect? What do you think people use as fertilizers around here? Too much information. Sorry. So, who are you and what are you doing here? Before the fall, I used to work in a fragrance manufacturing company. I consider myself lucky to have been professionally active within the only century when the world actually smelled nice. Now it's back to normal. So I asked myself, how can I change that? What scent would make people the most happy in this miserable world? I sure hope you don't mean smelling like shit is the essence of survival. Of course not. I have this really exciting idea for a new fragrance. People are gonna pay a fortune for just a whiff. I called it Turn Me On. And it's almost finished. I just need some scraps for the heart note. A heart note? Hmm. The middle note of the perfume. Metal scraps and lavender. That's all I'm missing. Oh, of course. Metal scraps and lavender. The obvious blend. Naira goes out of her way to be... Uh, controversial. If you bring me some, I'll tell you everything about my secret formula. Naira said she needs lavender for her perfume, too. Hm. Now that makes more sense. Metal scraps. Naira wants them. Oh, I hope this isn't some wild goose chase. Making perfume out of metal? <laughs> Sounds absurd. Here, your, uh, ingredients. Mmm, good. I wish there was more oil on the metal scraps, but... Oh, Naira, can't you just be thankful for what you've got for once? She gives me this shit every day, I swear. Okay. Okay. Voila! It's ready. Here, smell it. Wow. It smells... It's... Oh, boy. It's like heaven. What is it? Silly little boy. Too young to know, aren't you? It's new car smell. A... A car? Are you disappointed? The scent of luxury is the bass note. The smell of confidence is the heart note. And the fragrance of risk and adventure is the head note. All you dream about is to turn it on and drive away into the distance. Thanks so much for helping me out. Unlike some people. Here, have this. I rubbed it with Turn Me On. This'll remind you to tune into your sense of smell now and then. Crap. You know, it looks like you were getting close to the truth. Either they killed Lucas, or they know who did. 
We'll force them to talk. How will you do that? By taking control of the water tower. Jack and Joe took off somewhere. Only stragglers left in the tower at best. This is the only source of water in the area. And whoever controls the water, controls old Villador. So you'll take it by force? I could. With the bandits gone, the bazaar will station guards at the tower. At the first sight of the PK, there'll be an immediate clash of forces. <sighs> well, I don't want to give them an excuse for war. However, if someone took over the tower quietly, it would be a fait accompli. <sighs> so you want me to sneak in there? Yes, and disarm the charges left by Jack and Joe. Take out whoever's left up there. But be careful. The tower's the tallest structure in the area. The only way up was cut off. I can try. Seems like the only option right now. All right. Go for it. If you pull it off, we'll gain massive leverage for the bazaar to tell us who the killer was. Long climb ahead of you. Side by side. Glad you stopped Tell me see what you me. Quad is taller. Fuck, that's not what I meant. Matt's a military genius. And ten times the man was. It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Ader wants to take control of the water and force the bizarre folk to talk. So this is how he's looking into Lucas's murder. He's not such an idiot after all. Yeah. But watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. I doubt he'd just run off like that.
Later. Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Fuck. You can't let that happen. The tower's mined. Try and disarm the charges. Fast. Jack. No, we were supposed to take trips to collect money. Jack, give it back. They'll get what they deserve. They will die. Jack, I'm warning you. Got it. And the water is safe. Made it after all. Zark jack holes or the PK. They'll be on us the moment we come down from here, buddy. Fuck, we lost it, man. We lost it. Can't find everything. That's why it's time for fireworks. Nobody's getting out alive. Joe, I don't want to die, you asshole. Hey, who's there? Stop, or we'll blow the goddamn tower, I swear. I dare you. I know you won't do it. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. 
Fuck it up! I don't know. I'm scared. Joe, wait. Joe, hey, isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope? So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust anyone! I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance! Fucking listen to me for once! Well, play nice with Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar! After what we found out from the peacekeepers. We tipped off the fucker, gave him a chance to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. They warned Barney. About what? Well, about Luke is wanting to take him in on weapons charges, among others. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you ask me, war's the last thing we need. Money, crystals, that's a different story. That's why I tried to put an end to that rabbit dog and his sister. So, Pilgrim, will you get us out of the city or what? Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest safe settlement. And no one will die here. I can get you out of town, but first I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Sounds like a huge risk. No risk, no gain. He's lying, Jack. There's no other way. Fuck! I don't like it. I fucking don't. But okay, we'll be waiting for you in the tunnels near the Tango Motel. We'll give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now give me the detonator, Jack. So what now, Aiden? Smart guy. Who gets control of the water? Start rationing the water. Should have done this weeks ago. Hack on. Hey, then, where the fuck are you? Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. Don't you like it? I like it the first time. And even the 15th. Well, luckily, she takes off her wig. 
quick, it says to me. near the water tower. So the place should be empty now. But I don't know when they'll be back. It's a pigsty. Is this some kind of collector or what? Hmm, that ain't no proof. Aiden, hurry up. Someone's coming your way. Ah, great. Get out of there! Now! Here's something. Wait, what the hell? Oh, fuck! That's... That's human skin! Hakon! I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. Get the hell out of there! We still ain't Doran. Why are you going through my sister's stuff? Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is... We didn't... A little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko? Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs>
Where's the girl? She wasn't here. She hasn't shown her face anywhere for a good couple of hours. Do, do you know what it means? He wanted to show off. Son of a bitch wanted to prove that he killed Lucas. So you a cannibal now or some shit, Barney? It wasn't me! It's him! He framed me! Okay, we're taking him to the station. He'll give us the whole story soon enough. You did good, Aiden. Meet me in my office. Time to fulfill my end of the deal. Yeah. <sighs> 